All right. So let's head on out there. We have the pearl there. And going to here, I believe we're going to be encountering a new reoccurring Heartless. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, the Air Pirates. Air Pirates first showed up in Kingdom Hearts 1 and have been a staple in the series ever since. In this game, Air Pirates drop dark crystals and on rare occasions will drop a bright crystal. Just for a reminder, you cannot actually buy crystals inside of shops, so you just have to farm them. Anyway, right there, we got a bright stone and we get a mithril shard. So let's go deeper into the island, shall we? Quick, they're after us. We'll hold them off. Give us a sign when the ship's ready to sail. Right. We'll light the signal fire. You know, if they were really smart, they'd stay inside the shade right there with their guns. All right, so what we have to do right here is we have to survive for one minute for everyone to get the ship ready. Uh, using magic against these guys, as you can see right now, can do different effects on them uh, with ice or in this case, my shotgun ice, it can actually freeze them on rare occasions. Fire also does another lasting effect in that it will set them on fire and they will run around. The best part about the fire after effect is the fact that that actually carries over to when they go into the shade as well and will still lose health. It's not that much, but it's better than anything. The most annoying part about this though is dealing with the guys with the guns because they have the habit of staying inside the shade. All right, and die. And... See, look, there's a guy with a gun right over there, staying inside the shade, being a little dick. All right. You know, I commend them for staying inside the shade, but then they run out after me trying to hit me with their rifles, and then I just realize how stupid they are. Ow. All right, so at this point, we just need to survive, so... That doesn't match up at all with the actual timer. Yeah, that's something that this game does a lot for anything that's a timed event like that. The signal. Never mind the fact that there were still a bunch of pirates that were right there. The clock hit zero. We're safe, guys. And don't mind us. We're just going to casually stroll onto the ship. Pirates possibly following us. Doesn't matter. Yeah, where is Jack? And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. No, not yet. We wait for the opportune moment. When it's of greatest profit to you? May I ask you something? Have I ever given you reason not to trust me? Stay here and try not to do anything stupid. <clears throat> Where did he get the ore? Where did he get the ore? Begun by blood, by blood undone. You, mate, your father was your father, William Turner. No. I don't understand. What's going on? Who brought this wench to yeah. us? She what said her name was Turner. Come on. Why isn't it working? How did the medallion drop out like that? No, seriously, how did it do that? Hurry. You there. The medallion! After them, you ingrates! How did the medallion bounce out of the chest? You mean Jax? Not like the pirates in One Piece? As Sora's world comes crashing down.
Well, I guess. And we've got Isle de Muerta's map. Somehow. Don't worry about it. Alright, so, back on the Interceptor, all we need to do is just head back to Port Royal. So, let's go on our map. And, you might notice that there's a third area on that map. We won't be getting to that for a while. So, let's head back to Port Royal. Oh no, the pirates caught up to us! And where's the Black Pearl? Eh, don't worry. These guys are these guys aren't that bright. They forget that I have this mighty magic. Ow! Ah, great, the bomb, guys. Uh, the guys that actually throw bombs, it's interesting. They can do uh, friendly fire damage on them, and their bombs cause the fire after effect if it explodes on any other pirates in the area. Pirates only drop, like, rare items like potions, which is why I don't really true? file them. Can I can't farm them my name for, of yours. like, synthesis items. Why choose my name? I don't know. Elizabeth, where did you get that? It's yours. From that day we found you. Drifting at sea. After all this time, I thought I lost it. It was a gift from my father. He sent it to me. I'm sorry. Why did you take it? Because I was afraid that you were a pirate. That would have been awful. Of course. Don't you see? It wasn't your blood they needed. It was my father's blood. My blood. The blood. Of a pirate. How the blazes did you get off that island, Jack? When you sailed away in my ship and marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land with naught but a pistol and a single shot, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I won't be making that mistake again. Then what say you to putting the past behind us, untying these ropes, and letting me negotiate the return of your medallion, eh? What say you to that? Seeing as how the Black Pearl's mine now, Jack, letting you go doesn't seem to fall within my interest. Odd. I'm not actually concerned with your interest. Give me back the pearl! Arr. All right. Lock him in the brig. We're coming up on the interceptor. What do we do, Captain? What do you think, you idiot? I'm just going to assume those pirates that attacked me earlier simply were on uh, little lifeboats. And somehow managed to catch up to the Interceptor. I wonder what Jack would do. I'm not sure. I suppose he'd run for it. Sounds good to me. Will! Everyone hit the deck! Oh! We're just gonna have to fight. Yeah! Three people taking on a pirate ship with more cannons, more crew members. And did I mention that they are immortal as long as they are in the shade? I see nothing wrong with this plan in the slightest. Alright, so we have our new mission. We pretty much have to repel the attack from the Black Pearl. And what will end up happening is once the pirates end up hitting you or hit you hard enough, I've always seemed kind of confused on this, uh, they will knock the medallion out of you. Normally, they're supposed to beeline for the medallion. Now, at this point, you can see the medallion in the corner. I didn't notice that the medallion was gone at this point, despite the clearly obvious glowing right there. I'm rather surprised that the pirates aren't going after it. And fire the cannons if you hit the triangle button. Now, what happens is if any of the pirates end up grabbing the medallion, it will indicate which one has the medallion. You have to kill that one within a minute, otherwise you will get a game over. This is one of those stipulation things that I despise. I always will despise, because that seems to be a thing for me. 
So, uh, kill him now. The cannons from the Black Pearl can cause the residual fire effect, which is this right here. I've never seen what happens if you actually end up doing Blizzard on them before. So, I don't know. Maybe something interesting will happen if that ends up happening. I don't know. Right, and that was close. So, fires the cannons! I don't know if you have to hit that a few number of times on there or if it's just a number of pirates. I think it's just indicated by a number of pirates because otherwise than that, you know, I just look like an idiot doing this. And that pirate was very nice for not stabbing me in the chest while I fired upon his ship. Or should I say Jack's ship? Or in this case, James Arnold Taylor's ship. So many people have owned the Black Pearl. Oh, 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 come on. Die. Right, where'd it go? There it is. Right now, die, 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 die. And now he's on fire by his own bomb. How oh, silly. Right, and is this guy the last one? I think he might be. So, ice, and nope, there's one still behind me. He's the last one. So, bye bye. And for our reward, we got Aerial Spiral, uh, something that I actually don't equip for a while. It's a really good ability for our finishing pirates. combo. Well, did you know? Jack! <laughs> now then, I'll be having back that medallion. Unless it's more important than their lives. Barbosa! She goes free. Go ahead, boy, shoot. We can't die. You can't. But I can. My name is Will Turner. My father was bootstrapped Bill Turner. His blood runs in my veins. I? On my word, do as I say, or I'll pull this trigger and be lost to Davy Jones' locker. Name your terms, Mr. Turner. Release Elizabeth, and Sora, and Donald, and Goofy too. Anything else? Leave, now. Agreed. Leave we shall. But the heartless stay. <laughs> Where does the ore come from? Something's telling me that's the same ore that knocked out Jack. No fair. Yeah, I do have to give Barbosa credit. He is always a character who you have to be utterly specific with in order to not die. You know, like a pirate version of Norm the Genie. Only this version of Norm does not have magical powers, but is immortal. Oh, and Sora's hopes have been dashed for ever believing in One Piece again. Uh-oh. Seems Jack's given up. Way to go, Jack. And they let him keep his knife. Why? No, seriously. Barbosa is the type of person that would have taken every single thing to prevent Jack from escaping. Why did they let him keep his knife? Then again, he still has his cutlass. Alright, so Jack is now a permanent member of our party, and he's going to be stuck in for there for the rest of our time inside of Port Royal. I unfortunately can't get Ariel Spiral on right now. Donald did get 
the draw ability, though, which is always a good thing to have. So, uh, it was actually after this that I ended up stopping my session because I had to go and do something. But, first things first, uh, let's go and make some things. We can make a fire bangle and make a new fire aga bangle and omelet, but we don't have enough for that. Instead, we can make the blizzard variant of it. So, let's do that. We've made a pretty blizzard necklace. And I had ended up switching it, but because, you know, differences inside of sound, that's the best I could do. So what we have to do right now is the Heartless will attack the barrels. We have to hit the barrels off the deck before they explode. One barrel explodes, it's game over. Uh, the Heartless will relentlessly attack it. Uh, reaction Command will simply hit it away, which is just fine. Uh, you'll be notified whenever it's about to go on fire based on, one, the barrel being on fire, and two, you know, it will tell you. But for beating this one, you get a new item slot. So sweet! All clear. That's the second time I've had to watch that man sail away with my ship. But I'll be having her back soon enough. Oh, Jack's pissed. So, we're back at Isle de Muerta. Yet again. Never went back to Port Royal. Yeah, Will could die in there, but then so could you. Then what would be accomplished? I will never trust a pirate again. And she is smart to not trust a pirate. Sora, I will never trust a pirate again. Here's what Jack just said. I will trust a pirate again. He really is as thick as Luffy. Eh, don't worry. But now that we're on Isle de Muerta, we have another absent silhouette. This one for the psycho bitch. We're not going to be fighting her yet. Uh, what I'm going to be doing for the absent silhouettes is once I get every single one available, I'm going to be doing them. Not only that, that's going to be live commentary that I'm going to be doing for that because I find that live commentary is the only thing that will work for that. Anyway, I saved right there, but I cut it out because I didn't want to take up too much time. And we got pirates here. Big surprise. Uh, surprisingly, we're going to be seeing more pirates than heartless here for a bit. So, and we got another air pirate. At least, you know, fits with the other pirates. And there we go. And get over here. And there we go. All right. So let's go now towards the center of the island like we should have done beforehand. I um, think there might be... Nope, no more heartless right here. I'm thinking of something that we're going to be seeing towards the end of this. Uh, singing this up is going to be fun. Uh, long story. Anyway, there are some chests that are hidden behind these walls right here, so keep that in mind. This place has a bunch of, you know, small areas. There's an AP up in there. This has a limited amount of light, so you need to open these up when dealing with the pirates. We open this one up. Nothing right here, but I believe the next one's going to have some good prizes. See? They had a pirate and two puzzle pieces that you could tell that they put there just for the simple fact because they needed to. And we got a dawn piece and we got a heart piece. And time to kill him. What was I doing? I was just slowly hitting him. There we go. All right. So that takes care of them. I wish that I could change Jack out of my party in all honesty because I want to keep it succinct, but oh well. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't an edge piece. So, as you can see, we have one piece right there. There is one piece I'm missing for this one. And believe it or not, that is because this is a different file. Uh, there was another file that I had purposely set up for doing that. Well, in that file, one of the pieces I ended up missing was one I ended up getting in my first run inside of the Olympus Coliseum. And that's the one in the area where we first fought Cerberus. Right, there's an AP up right there. So, off screen, I ended up going to get that piece back, but I filmed... I recorded uh, what that ends up giving you, and if not, then I will just show off in a bonus part. I'm going to be showing off in a bonus part me going back and getting a bunch of puzzle pieces remaining. So I just need to find a place to put that video in all honesty. I'll probably put it after the halfway point of the game. 
Now this room. This room is changed in Final Mix. Uh, on your first visit here, it won't be changed when you end up coming back here. In fact, this is a good place to farm for the uh, Blaze Stones, actually, because the Cannon Guns and the other Heartless that drop Blazing Stones show up in this room a lot. That is on your first visit. On your second visit here, one of the new additions to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus is added into here, Mithril Shard in there, and so you won't be able to farm it. And we got a Mithril's... No, that was a Power Stone, actually. And we got a Serenity Stone for that one. 